Hi everybody, it's Brian here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing great. So in today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you a new tool I recently discovered that is effectively um, very similar in style to the ever popular Canva platform that we've all come to know and to love, myself included. Um, the best thing about it is that this particular tool, this platform that I'm going to be showing to you today is absolutely free. There's no subscription to be taken out on it. And you can use any and all of the resources available on this platform to your heart's content to create some amazing designs, um, promos for your print-on-demand business, again, irrespective of print-on-demand platform that you sell on. So if you're excited to learn what the name of this tool is and how to go about using it, well, let's head over to my computer and get started right now. Okay, so welcome to my computer screen. And as you can see, I've got the website up on screen now. And the name of the website is studio.polotno.com. Don't worry about writing it down. I'm gonna put a link to this website in the description box below. And just by taking a look at the opening page here, when you get into you know your tool area, your canvas area, you can see that you know it's quite similar in style to the Canva platform. Um, what's great about it, as I stated in the introduction, is that basically this particular website is a free open source website. So you can basically go in and utilize it to your heart's content in order to create some amazing designs. You can create some social media posts. You can do a lot with this platform that you know you don't have to worry about taking out any subscriptions for. So let's just get a quick overview in terms of what the facilities are for this platform. So that way, after you watch this video, right to the end, you can actually get tucked into it and actually start experimenting yourself with this platform and obviously create some amazing designs to sell on your print on demand platform. So the first thing that you want to do here, you've got your new, your open and your safe functions, which are basically, you know, pretty much run of the mill. Um, if you've started something and you don't like what it is that you've done and you want to start over again, just click on the new button and obviously you'll open up uh, a new canvas. Now, along the left hand side toolbar, you have obviously a number of main functions in your menu. You've got your text, your photos, icons, shapes, uploads, so you can actually upload photos or any kind of media that you have from another project or whatnot. Maybe perhaps you want to incorporate it and merge it into whatever uh, resources that you can find here on the Palatno website. Uh, you've got backgrounds. You also have layers, so you can have control in terms of the layers that you have. So you don't have to try to figure out how you're clicking on one to the other and trying to figure out whether or not you've actually toggled the layer that you want to modify or not. Uh, you've got a resize function, which I'll show you in a little bit too as well. This is actually quite cool too as well. You have a quotes function and you can actually even create a QR code for any websites that uh, you might wish to share vis-a-vis -a, -vis a QR code. And it's really easy to do. And one thing that I also love too as well is that there is an AI generated section on this platform as well. So if you're looking for inspiration or maybe you want you know the ai facilities on this platform to create something for you to either extrapolate a portion of or maybe to utilize in its entirety well you can actually do that too as well so um let's tackle the resize function first because that is probably i think key um i think that's your first step that you will want to go into in terms of actually starting a project so we just click on resize here you're gonna see that by default, you already have a number of sizes already predefined based on whatever social media platform you wish to market on. So if you got your Instagrams, your Facebooks, even your YouTube thumbnails, your channel banners, and even full HD, okay? So if you're creating some video, you wanna click on that so that obviously your canvas size is gonna be 1920 by 1080 pixels as you can see here. But you also have the facility to come up with your own size dimensions for whatever project or whatever it is that you want to do. And as many of you know, for those of you who've been in the print on demand industry for quite some time now, know that the go to canvas size is basically 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels. So you just want to click on those. We're going to change this to 4,500 and we'll change the height to 5,400. As you can see, the canvas size is already changing. And now you've got your, obviously, your canvas size that you can actually create on. So really versatile, very easy to use. If you want to create an Instagram post, you just click on that and your canvas size changes accordingly. You want to change your Facebook cover on your social media page? Well, just click on it and you can change it. And it takes out a lot of the guesswork out of whether or not you're choosing the right size or maybe you're Googling it and trying to find and maybe there's been something outdated or whatnot. You go to this website, you click on it, it gives you the exact dimensions for the canvas size for that particular aspect, in this case, the Facebook cover, and you're good to go in terms of modifying and adding whatever elements and graphics accordingly to create a new Facebook uh, cover. Okay, 
Now, let's say, for example, you have no idea where you're going to start. Maybe you're looking for some inspiration. Hey, it happens to all of us. You know, sometimes you might want to sit down. You've got an hour or two to create something and you don't know where you're going to start from. Well, this particular website has got you covered too as well with the templates. So we click on templates here. Okay. And you can see you've got tons of various templates that are all um, clickable. You can modify all of them. You know, you just click on one that you like and you just click on it and then you can just click on the different elements and modify accordingly. You want to change the text, you just click on it. And one of the things that you'll notice that quite a number of the fonts that are obviously found on this website are similar in style to the ones that you would find in Canva. So if there was perhaps um, a font in Canva that you would have to have the subscription for to gain access to, you might not have to worry about that over here, okay? You can just search for it, see if they have it, and if they do, you're good to go in terms of utilizing it, okay? Uh, you can change the, the size of the font, take it up and down. You can obviously justify it accordingly. Um, this, you know, the standard things that you normally find in any kind of word processing program, whatnot, your bolds, your italics, your underlines, etc. And you also have your effects, which you can blur. You've got your text strokes, adding a shadow. Basically, you've got a lot of facilities that you can utilize to modify your text to whatever it is that you want to modify to. So if you've got it inside your head and you want to bring it out onto the canvas here in Palatno, you can actually do that, okay? Um, then, just like in Canva, you've got your positions, which is just behind me over here. Obviously, you have to click on the element that you want to position. And then you've got some other functions like locking and duplicating. And if there's a piece that you don't want, well, you can just click on the trash can here to remove that particular type of element. Just as with Canva, if you click on the color icon over here, you're going to be you're going to have this dialog box opening up where obviously you can select the color that you want to utilize. You can either choose from the color graph over here. You can choose from the predefined colors that they've got here. Or if you happen to know the hex code, then you can just type in the hex code right there and obviously utilize it, particularly, you know, if you've got brand colors that you want to keep to. So again, just going to click on that. You're going to click here in the hex code. You're going to highlight it and obviously type in whatever hex code that you want to key in. So uh, in terms of modifying text, super simple to use, very similar in style to Canva, nothing, you know, too complicated or difficult. And it really doesn't take that long to modify text vis-a-vis -vis color, font size, even font style accordingly. Okay. So again, you've got a lot of different types of templates here. If there's something that you're looking for in particular, you can just click in the search field. Let's see, Halloween is not too far off. So let's type in Halloween and see what we come up with. Okay, so we've got three templates here that we can click and utilize. And again, obviously you can modify it accordingly. Now, um, next thing that you've got photos. Now the photos that are found on the Palatno website are, uh, are supplied by Unsplash, as you can see over here. So we have a ton of photos that we can use we're spoiled for choice. And again, you can either just scroll through the first bunch of photos that obviously the website brings up, or if there's something specific that you want to look for, you can just key it in the search bar. Let's say, for example, we're thinking ahead now, we want to start designing some Christmas designs. So let's just type in Christmas. Let's see what kind of things come up. And as you can see here, we've got a lot of really amazing photos that you can actually utilize. You can crop out, you can merge, you can overlap in your designs or in your social media post designs to obviously really create some eye-catching things to grab people's attention to learn more about your shop, okay? Uh, further to that, we've got an icon section here. So if there's a social media icon that you want to utilize, you can do so. By default, you get um, basically everything and anything under the sun pertaining to icons for social media. But let's say, for example, you want a square icon, just type in square in the search area, hit enter, and all of the icons that obviously the Palatno website brings up are going to be square in format. So you can actually click and choose whichever one you want to use. Um, maybe let's say you want to use this Facebook one, just click on it. Obviously, wait for it to come up and then you can just obviously resize and place accordingly wherever it is that you want to place it. Okay, further than that, we also have the shapes section here. Again, you can use these to create some interesting backgrounds, change the colors, the fading, the transparency of them so that, you know, if you're creating a social media banner or a post and you're using a solid color, you might want to interject a little bit of contrast or complementary colored shapes in the background, maybe fade it out, just add a little bit of dimension, a little bit of depth to your particular uh, post that you're creating. Just again, so you want to make sure that it's eye catching. You're getting people to stop scrolling on their mobile devices so that they can actually stop and see what it is that you have to offer. 
offer vis-a-vis -vis information or links or what have you to get those important people, those important customers to your shop to make those sales. It's all about making the sales, but we got to get people's attention. We got to make them stop. Okay. And with this particular platform, there's no reason why you wouldn't be able to create some amazing things to get people to stop to as well. Okay. Um, if you want to come up with some inspiration for a background, again, you can click on the background section here. And again, you could just type in, let's say we want something abstract and I type in abstract here. And again, obviously, um, the Palatno website brings in a ton of different abstract uh, backgrounds that you can use for your postings or for your designs accordingly. Okay, so now we've got the layer section over here. And as you can see, we've got all of our layers here on the uh, canvas, but they are also listed here on the left hand side. So if we wanted to move them, uh, you know, change the order in terms of the way that they're presented, we can do so as well without having to have to click and get those, you know, those border bars opening um, around each of the elements to move them accordingly. So you're just going to grab and we're just going to move it up or down and obviously it will move it accordingly. Okay, so if we want to grab this one and bring it up. We can do so as well. As you can see, it's moving up. And obviously, if you want to lock a layer, all you just need to do is click on the padlock and it's locked. And obviously, you cannot move that. OK, if you want to hide it, you can do so. Maybe you want to work on something that's behind it and then obviously bring it back so you can turn on and off the eye icon. And heck, if you don't even like that particular element, then you can just click on the trash can and delete it accordingly as well. So, again, this is something which is really helpful, at least the way I'm seeing it, you know, from somebody who really loves using Photoshop, those layer palettes are gold for me. So when I have something like this, this is something that I really appreciate because it's going to make my workflow that much easier. I don't have to waste time trying to move my mouse over the element. And if I have it in the back and something else is on top of it, I don't need to resize it in order to get access to that particular element. I can just click on it and there you go. I will be able to modify it accordingly and continue to speed up my workflow to get the job done. So at the end of the day, time is money and the more time that we waste, the less time that we have for creating some amazing designs and those amazing designs will never get see, will never see the light of day on our particular print on demand platform if we can't get them out of our minds and onto canvas, obviously to utilize in our shops. Okay, so we've already went through the resize function. Another really interesting um, component on this particular website is the quotes function. Now over here, if I click on quotes, as you can see here, um, it gives me an assortment of quotes that I can utilize in my designs. Let's say, for example, you want to create a really nice, I don't know, a shop banner for your print on demand platform. Let's say you're using Redbubble and you want to put a small quote on the, the shop banner. Um, and maybe let's say, for example, you have a, a sports related niche shop. So what you can do is you can obviously see if there's anything that comes up when you click on the quotes tab. If it doesn't, you can either just click on sport over here, as you can see here, or you can actually type in the sport in the search box and see what this platform will provide. So let's just click on sport here. And now all the quotes that I have here are all related to sports. And then I can just go through them and see if there's something that really appeals to me. And if there's something that I can like, let's say, for example, the sports world is an echo chamber. All it takes is one quote from a general manager and a thousand sports columns bloom, for example. I'm just going to click on that. And obviously, you can see it places it accordingly on our graphic. Let's get rid of this one over here. So we're going to click delete. We want to change it to white. So we're going to click on it. Let's choose white from the color picker here. And I want to change the font from Atma. Let's say, for example, I don't know, let's make it a nice crisp font here. All right. And again, obviously, you would take more time and care in terms of how you're going to be creating this. I don't want this video to be very, very long. So obviously, I'm going to do it quite quickly. But this is basically to show you the gist of what this platform is capable of doing. OK, so it's really simple to obviously to modify. Again, if there's something that I want to get into, but I can't get to it, I just go into the layers palette. Let's say, for example, I want the sports quote at the top. So I'm just going to grab it to the top. And now I find it at the top. If I had to grab the Facebook quote and put it, I can see that it's going to be behind it, right? If I wanted to put it on top, the, I just grab this here and bring it straight to the top. And there you go. We've got the Facebook icon on the top. Again, that's not where I'm going to leave it, but you get the idea of what you can do and the versatility of the layers palette, which for me, that's one of the aspects of this program, this platform, which I think is worth its weight in gold, particularly if you've got a lot of elements on your um, on your canvas that you are creating. OK, now the final aspect that I want to show you about this platform is what I obviously stated early on in terms of the AI generated aspects. So if we're going to click on AI generated. And as you can see here, you can actually type in what it is that you want the AI to look up for. So let's say, for example, Halloween. So we're going to just go type in haunted 
house, Halloween, pumpkin, and ghosts. Okay, I just, just something that just popped into my head right now. We're just going to click generate and see what obviously this program will be able to provide. Um, sometimes it'll be a hit, sometimes it'll be a miss. You just got to continue, you know, trying and regenerating. This actually is not that bad as you can see it. So if I wanted that, I could just click on it. And as you can see, it's placing it over here, but obviously I don't want it as my Facebook cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to resize. And let's say, for example, I want it as an Instagram post. I'm just going to click on Instagram post. As you can see, the canvas has already changed with all my elements. And that's just a question of grabbing the handles accordingly and resizing. Obviously, if I started off with the canvas size as an Instagram post and then dragged it on, obviously the graphic would fit directly into the canvas. OK, so basically, you know, that's actually not bad at all. But if you wanted something different, OK, you can just click it in there. So haunted house. Um, pumpkins and ghosts. Let's say, for example, we did that. I'm going to generate again, see what it comes up with. Sometimes you just need to wait a few seconds. Again, not another bad one, but let's say, for example, we didn't like this, we didn't want that one. You just click on generate again and you allow the program to work its magic and find and compile something else. And you can continue doing it until obviously, you know, you get something that you actually like. So this one isn't that bad either too as well. So you can really have a lot of fun with it. Guys, even the fact that, you know, Christmas is coming around the corner and you want to create some really amazing Christmas posts for your social media to grab people's attention. This could be the key to actually getting you started to create some really amazing posts that isn't going to take a whole lot of time to do so. You don't have to say finding all of the elements and putting things together. Just type in your few words of text, let the program come up with something for you. And if it's great, use it. If it's not, click generate and continue doing so until you know it produces something that you actually like. So there is a ton of facilities on the Polotno platform, as you can see over here. I just showed you the tip of the iceberg. I just gave you a quick rundown of what it is that you can do with it. As you can see, there was no call for any kind of fee, any kind of subscription. I had free reign to work on any aspect, any element in this particular program. So I certainly hope that you will actually consider visiting this website. Again, I'm not affiliated at all with this website. As I told you a number of episodes ago, I'm always on the lookout for some new and interesting platforms, programs that I can share with you that I utilize myself in order to help make our lives a little bit easier when we're creating our designs so that we're not bogged down spending hours upon hours trying to come up with designs that, you know, might end up being duds. But if we create some really amazing things through the use of these programs and upload them to our respective print on demand platforms, we're increasing our chances of making more sales, particularly around this busy time of the year, that being the fourth quarter. But guys, hey, if you're not watching this during the fourth quarter, you can use this program to help you out with designs any time of the year. Don't think that this is something that's just obviously logged down for the fourth quarter. It isn't. Use this particular program, particularly if you don't have the subscription for Canva. Maybe you can work in conjunction with the free version of Canva. So there's something on one that you don't find on the other, vice versa. You can actually utilize those, create something on one, import it obviously into this one, you know, or back and forth and actually create something that's really amazing. Now, one last thing that I need to show you is that when you are done creating your design, you want to go up to the top here behind me where it says download. You're going to click on download. OK, make sure that the file type is set to PNG. All right. And then download it as PNG. It downloads it into your download folder and obviously you can upload to Redbubble, TeePublic, Society6, Spreadshirt or whatever print on demand platform that you use. So I certainly hope that you enjoyed this particular video. I hope you found value in it. If you did, please do me a favor, smash that like button. And if you haven't yet as yet subscribed to this channel or maybe you've been watching my channel but haven't clicked on the subscribe button yet, Please do so now. Help me to reach 3,000 subscribers by the end of this calendar year. I'm really working hard to achieve that. And I know that with your help, I can reach that goal. But for today, that's all I've got. And as always, be safe, be well, be creative. Bye for now. Hey, thanks again for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to do so. If you are interested in taking your print-on-demand business to the next level and learning how to generate more sales, please consider clicking on one of the two video thumbnails that have appeared on your screen now. I'll see you there. Thanks again.